this tip of the day, let's take a look at how we can control which layer extracted geometry is saved to. Now, by default, when you extract geometry, one CNC creates a brand new layer called extracted, and that extracted geometry is saved to that layer. Let me demonstrate. If we look in our layer browser, I just have one layer here called solid model, and I can turn that on and off. All right, now if we head over here to the command manager, go into our model tools, and from there, choose any one of these extraction options. Let's use extract surface edges. I'll take my cursor, hover over the surface, and left hand click, and when I'm done, I can right hand mouse click. Once I do that, one CNC creates a brand new layer called extracted, and on that layer, you have your extracted geometry. All right, let's change that. I'm going to right hand mouse click within the layer browser and select add a layer. I'm now going to select that layer so it becomes the active layer. Let's turn our solid model layer back on. I'm going to head over to the upper left hand corner of the screen, select file, one CNC properties, and from here within the properties dialog box, we're going to select the layers tab. I'm going to change this option from extracted layer to current layer. Let's click OK to that. Now what's going to happen is when I extract geometry, the geometry is going to be saved on the current layer. And in this case, that's going to be layer one. So let's head back over to the command manager. We're going to choose our exact same extract feature, extract surface edges. I'll take my cursor, hover over the same surface, left click, and when I'm done, I'll right hand mouse click. And now you'll notice that on layer one, we have our extracted geometry. Now this setting to save the extracted geometry to the current layer will stay in effect every time you use one CNC unless you change it back to extract layer. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.